What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Industry 01, and welcome. Finally, after a couple of years, I've had so many messages, and, uh, you know, it's about time to do this. We're going to be playing Dishonored again, and we're going to be doing the Knife of Dunwall. This is from the Definitive Edition uh, for the Xbox One. So if you haven't already picked it up, go do that, as this is obviously going to have all the DLC in it, all of uh, the, the side things and, and everything you can think of that came with the original Dishonored and it's just bumped up. It looks a, definitely a lot better. It's, uh, you know, got all that DLC in it. So this was one thing I've always wanted to be able to play, but, uh, you know, with things happening between then and now, I'm finally getting a chance because, uh, you know, this just released and I, I felt that I had a good opportunity to go ahead and put this in there for you guys. So hopefully you guys will enjoy. This is going to be completely stealthy of course just like you like it now the only thing is since we haven't you know beat this or whatever we're going to be playing it on elite because we don't have the master assassin unlocked so hopefully you guys enjoy i'm going to be showing you how to get through uh this dlc completely stealthy as well uh, I i'm leaning towards not picking up all of the ruins and stuff um, there's plenty of walkthroughs and other things like that out there to pick up all the collectibles. This is to show you how to get through with, of course, low chaos and uh, without being seen and all that great jazz. So without further ado, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, share with your friends. I would definitely like to know, uh, was, was Dishonored a game that you guys played back in 2012 when it came out? And what did you think of the original Dishonored? I would like to know in the comments below. Uh, without further ado, it's go time. One more job shouldn't have mattered. I'd killed nobles before. You could float a whaling ship on the highborn blood I've spilled. Another noble steps in to replace the last one. All equally corrupt. Why should an empress be different? But she was. I watched her bodyguard's face as they took him away. Dead eyes. I knew I'd pay for this one. Maybe I deserve to. A storm was coming that would shake apart everything I'd built. Alright, so you guys remember Blink. Blink is pretty much the only power we're going to be using. Uh, so it's very easy to use. You can actually kind of maneuver in uh, unique ways by uh, time stops whenever you use it. So whenever you, uh, you, know, you use it, if you actually hit it again really quick before it finishes, you can actually move in different directions while you blink as long as you have enough mana. So it's going to take me a little bit of time to get used to the controls again. It has been uh, at least two and a half years, maybe. Dowd, my old friend. It's been a long while, but you've got my interest again. How the years pass and the bodies fall. Did you know that there are only eight like you in the world, bearing my mark? I'm here because you're right. The Empress was different. This time, you can't just fade away into the shadows. There will be consequences. Your story is close to ending, and even you can't escape it. 
but what ending will you make for yourself? I'm here to give you one last gift, Dowd. It's a mystery. One that starts with a name. Delilah. For six months, the city writhed and changed. For six months, I tried to forget what I'd done to the Empress and her little girl. But there was no forgetting. I needed to find my next move. But all I had was that name. Delilah. Who was she? A threat? Or an ally? Word came from my second-in-command, Billy Lurk. In a house built on secrets. Lurk was especially good at uncovering them. There was a ship called the Delilah. It hunted whales for Bundry Rothwild. A former deckhand who'd made good. Now he owned a slaughterhouse and he ran his workers like a prison gang. A ship named Delilah. It could be a coincidence, but it's not. In Dunwall, things are always tangled up like a bag of snakes. All right, so now we can actually go into uh, kind of upgrade. This is our, I guess you could say, our hub before every mission. So it's not like we have a, a specific place like in the original Dishonored where we have a location where we can do all of this stuff. This happens, I guess, before every mission. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to get just a few more sleeping darts. Uh, maybe one of those and one of those. We don't need to be too much. We definitely want to get the choke dust as this will come in handy later. Uh, what else? Upgrade-wise... We'll go with range. I don't plan on using this that much, but it's always good to, you know, have a few things. Uh, favors. Now, there's three favors here. You could spend the money if you want to. You don't have to. Um, if you're thorough like I am, then you'll be able to find these three locations. But uh, for purposes of I want to make sure you guys know where everything is, we're going to go ahead and purchase these since we have enough money. And it's just telling you the locations of where they are, you know. Um, it's not showing you like how to get them it's just showing you where uh you could get the specific ob objective and then you have to find it from there so without further ado let's do it Dowd, you're here i got bored so i started without you turns out we're here on the perfect day there's a strike at the plant, and it's no wonder. Rothwild runs this place like a prison. The stupid workers can't even get in without a time card. When the strike started, the butchers confiscated all the cards they could find. They've given the city watch free reign to use force. If you ever wondered why I wanted out of the slums, here's your answer. There'll be other ways in, I'm sure of it. You don't mind if I tag along, right? Just to keep an old man safe. One last thing. I found something for you. I know you collect these. I'll be on the rooftops till you need me. Alright, so here is our upgrades. So what we're going to go with is agility, because that is going to help us get around this area a lot better. You can jump higher by holding A. It's definitely going to make moving faster. Go on. Get off the property or we'll lock you up too. You have to give me back my time card. I can't get back in. You had no right to take it. Ooh. Try and get past me, and I'll see you swinging from a meat hook. Go home, mister. Orders are to confiscate those cards. No excuses. I hope you die weeping. All of you. I hope the plague gets you. You see there's a guy up there. We're just gonna take our time, you know, we're in no rush. Pick up any miscellaneous things that you want. I don't plan on grabbing all of these, just to let you guys know that. But I will at least show you, you know, where certain things are.
There's also another area down below that has a few miscellaneous items in it and stuff. Coins and all of that jazz. We don't know where this guy is up here. Hurry up before he turns around, so. Sweet. Looks like we made it. Always stick to the rooftops if you have a chance to, because that's always going to be your safe bet. Remember to kind of be a little patient with your mana, because you want it to... It always recharges, so. There's a man out on the river watching the place. If I weren't so young and pure of heart, I'd suggest he's up to no good. Failure to report for work at industries deemed vital to state interests has been declared treasonous by the Lord Regent. Those are the alarms, so if, uh, you know, one of these guys gets the alarm, obviously you're going to be in trouble. You know, you can't go through sections like that, as well as those right there. If you get close to that, you'll automatically be hurt, but there are ways to turn those off, you see right there. Because we purchased, purchased our uh, jump ability, you hold down A and you can actually jump really, really high to be able to do these things. Now, there are some side quests that I will end up doing, but not all of them. If it pertains to the story, I'll do it. Oops. You're, there we go. You're endowed. Endowed. Well endowed. Shit, I hope you ain't here for me. I'm just a little fish in a big pond. I want to know about a ship. The Delilah. Yeah, I heard of it. Listen, maybe we can help each other out. I work for a very rich man who's keen on seeing Rothwild's business go belly up. This whole business with the strike? Our doing. We got a mole on the inside, a lady pretending to run the labor crews. A real talent. She could lie straight to the high overseer's face and get away with it. We were supposed to meet up last night. I've been spying on the place all day, waiting to hear word. I mean, I haven't seen or heard a peep. I was about to shove off. If you're here to make a little mayhem, anyway, maybe you could find her. If she's still alive, she'd be able to get you everything you need to know about that ship. No question. And a substantial reward besides. Her name's Abigail Ames. All right, so you, we can't save right now, but I guess we'll wait. It's auto-saving right now. There's a lot of auto-save points, but you still want to be, uh, uh, you still want to save as many times as you can because uh, you want to try different routes out and do different things, and you can save on a whim in this game, which is, you don't really get to see anymore, you know? It's always at a checkpoint or the beginning of a mission, but here you can save anywhere you want as long as you're not in combat. So make sure you take advantage of that. Try to do this before he turns around. You are us. Sign the contract, and you'll be back at work tomorrow. For two thirds paying with good men and women dead, we aren't signing anything without talking to Abigail. What's wrong with you people? There's folks in Dunwall begging to do your job for half your pay. They won't let you in without a time card. But if you get us out of here, you can take mine. I'm not coming back. The key to the gate is in the break room. Cross the Alright, so the key to the gate's in the break room. Uh, this is another optional objective, of course. We actually already have his time card because we stole it from him before we turned around. So you don't have to worry about saving these guys if you don't want to. Uh, you know, it's completely up to you. The game does give you that option. 
Alright, so this guy's gonna wait here a little bit. We do need to get right there, as you can see, that's the gate key as well as the safe code is nearby. Because I can't tell which direction that his shadow is looking. He's probably coming this way, yeah. <coughs> so you just keep on going. Oh, that was a close one, huh? We'll take this opportunity to go ahead and fill our mana. We're going to wait for him to turn around. And we're going to take this gate key. We're going to try to do this with minimal... Uh, interaction with enemies, so that means I'm not going to be knocking them out if I don't have to. I want to. I would love to Arc try to be able to do this. The latest thing from Sokolov's twisted mind. We're the first ones to get them. How do they work? Well, obviously you. Actually, I'm not sure. Let's lay a few out. Striker's got to hit one sooner or later. Again, we're still waiting on him. Oh, crap. Oh, that was so close. Still trying to get used to the whole uh, buttons and whatnot. So, Alright, so here's where the safe code. I haven't shown you where the safe is. We will do that later. So, 541. Should be able to jump up here. I think. Right? Maybe yeah, I made it a little too too high, I guess. Always gotta get that right angle before you can jump. Alright, so I believe the key is on this guy. In order to unlock this. Because there is a special ruin that we can get to. Which takes that out so we won't get hit by that. Now, there is a ruin in here. You can see all these nasty creatures. I think they can kill me. So I don't want to be in here too long. Gotta stay away from those guys. Alright, I don't know if this is like another entrance in. Could be. Oh yeah, it's another uh, slaughterhouse entrance. So obviously there's... Even without a time card, you don't even need a time card to get into that. I actually never went back there before. So, it's just another kind of cool way. So, we picked up uh, a rune. What else do we want to do? Let's go back. To kind of where we were with the fishermen. <coughs> Make sure this guy is not watching. Why did I have to lose that time Indeed, card today? I believe so. Oh, there's gotta be somebody I can blame this on. We still need to get past that wall of light contraption they put up. If you can shut it off, we can slip past the city watch when the time is right. Disable the wall of light.
So it's really, you know, there's. You think you'll get your own squad after what happened? I'm not sure last which night? direction we want we want to good. actually take. Do we want to go in the underground entrance, or do we want to go through this main door? <clears throat> I guess. Uh, since we're being as stealthy as possible, we're going to be able to come back out here later on in this mission, so anything that we don't finish here, we can finish there. That's why you want to be fast, remember, because he almost caught us last time. Alright, so we're actually going to go back. We've already unlocked the key for them. And maybe, you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to, like, say, do those other side missions. I know you guys probably really, really want me to, but... We're going to, you know, take our time here. Oh. I forgot about this guy. Things are a little different here than that. Before, when I went through this uh, part of the level, uh, whilst testing out some strategies, I took out some of the guards, so that's why I, I'm making it, you know, way more difficult for myself by not taking out the guards. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and infiltrate during this way. We'll be able to do more stuff when we come back out, so it's not a big deal. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this first part. Let me know what you're thinking of the game so far. I definitely recommend you pick it up, especially if you haven't played the original Dishonored uh, for the 360 or PS3 or PC. This is the definitive edition, so hopefully you guys are enjoying the walkthrough, of course, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out, bitches! <laughs>